Hello, and welcome to version 1.2 using the new calculator. To begin, from the home screen, we click on the button for calculator. You'll notice right away that the font is quite larger. Every, everything is uh, easy to read now. Uh, you'll also notice that the display area has been decreased, and that's because um, the new font will be quite a bit larger. So here I'm going to enter a new number, a complex number, 2 plus 3i. So what I've entered on the screen is 2 plus 3i. And let's say I want to square that. So I'm going to raise it to the second power. And when I hit equals, you'll see that the answer is now given in standard format. That is the form a plus bi. In this case, it is negative 5 plus 12i. Now if I want the square root of this number, I don't have to start over. I simply click square root hit equals and you can see that the square root of negative 5 plus 12i is 2 plus 3i. Well, we knew that, that's what we started with. So this is one of the new features of um, the version 1.2. I can simply multiply a complex number uh, by uh, continuing the operation. I, I don't have to stop now whenever I get a complex answer. I can just keep going and, um, and it will always give the answer in the form a plus bi if it's a complex number. Now, should it happen that uh, it is a, a real number, then it will give the form in a real number. You don't have to do anything special. It will automatically put it in complex form if it is a complex number uh, that has an imaginary part. And if it does not have any imaginary part, it'll just look like a real number. So uh, that's one of the things that we changed in the calculator. We changed the font size, as you can see. And I'd like to point out something. I, I've had several people uh, ask me about the trig functions. Is there a way to set it for degrees because they're working in degrees? And um, the answer is no. It, the, the calculator is based uh, to work in radians. However, uh, there are a couple of shortcuts you can do that will save you quite a bit of time uh, from having to convert back and forth to uh, from degrees to radians. For example, if I want the sine of 30 degrees, I click sine of 30. Of course, this will return in radians unless I click the degree button. Now it will return the answer for 30 degrees, not 30 radians, which is one half. If I want the inverse sine of one half, if I click equals, it will return radians. We can see the radians, 0.52398 However, most people um, want to know, uh, like if they want the inverse sine of one half, uh, they're wanting to know what the angle is. So here's the little shortcut. Go ahead and put the uh, arc sine of one half and then divide that by open parentheses one degree, close parentheses. Now this will always return the answer in degrees. You see I put the degrees here and it will always return the answer in degrees so you can see that the inverse sine of one half is 30 degrees. So it just saves you from a couple extra steps from having to multiply by 180 and then divide by pi. This will always work. So um, let's say I want the cosine of 30 degrees. Um, I just put the cosine of 30, hit the degree symbol, and I can see it's 0.8666. Da -da 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 -da. Let's say I want the inverse sine of this, and I want it back in degrees. Remember, you just hit divide, open parentheses, one degree, close parentheses, equals. And you see it brings me right back to this 30 degrees once again. So that's just a little shortcut you can use for working in degrees uh, should you need degrees. And this ends the session on version 1.2, the new calculator.